This is the CG Sulit OBD2 scan tool for automobiles. Let's take it out of the box. Fortunately, this opens like a clamshell, as you see here, so you can sort of pack it back up in there for safekeeping when you're not using it. In the box, you get a user manual, which is pretty thick here. Quite a number of pages in there. They give you a USB cable. It's USB to mini USB. And, of course, the scan tool itself right here. Your OBD2 connector is right there. And this has a 2.8 inch color LCD screen. Now this scan tool will read the codes in your vehicle. So if you have a check engine light on, it can read that, tell you what the code is, and perhaps that'll give you some idea of what's going on, why the light is on. It of course can also clear those codes as well. In addition to that, you can get live data such as when the engine's running, it can read the RPM, the coolant temperature, um, the airflow, the fuel trim, things like that. In addition to that, it has readiness monitor checks. Now that's very handy if you have a vehicle that is persistently throwing the check engine light. One of the most common is PO420 for older vehicles, uh, which is a catalytic converter type issue. But there's a way to skirt the system, and that's to reset the check engine light and drive your vehicle enough that you get all but one of those readiness monitors complete. So I've been doing this for years with uh, some of my older vehicles that have that problem. I reset that, but what's really handy about this tool is it has the IM button right in the center, and that will immediately bring up the readiness monitor check and show you what's going on. So this way you can look at the display and once you have all but one not ready, you can get your car inspected and usually pass without any issue. It also will tell you if your vehicle is ready for inspection, if you've ever brought your car in and the mechanic said your car says it's not ready for inspection, that's why. So this can read that out for you. Fits in your hand real nice. Nice big buttons, easy to use here, like that, and also has red, yellow, and green right here, and we all know what that means. Red is going to be if you have a check engine light on, yellow would be if there's one pending but it hasn't thrown the light yet, and green means go, everything's good. Doesn't do much good here, uh, so we will need to take this out to the car. Uh, another thing this does is data logging. So the data that it reads from the car, it can log that, and then later you can use this USB cable to hook it up to your computer to print that information out, if that helps you in any way. So now we're going to go ahead and hook this up to the car. I'll show you a little bit about it, and then we'll wrap this up. All you have to do is locate the OBD2 connector in your car, usually under the dash. Looks like that, that the plug would fit into. So just look around for it. You'll find it, plug it in. So with that plugged in, here's the main menu here. We're just gonna go ahead and hit the check there. And now it's gonna connect to the vehicle. You'd want the key on, or if you have keyless uh, ignition, then you're gonna want the, uh, you know, the dashboard lights and all that lit up. And here we are, it came up and it gave us a brief overview of what's going on and we can check the engine so we'll go ahead and go in here we can go to read codes stored codes no codes are stored perfect if you had pending or permanent codes you can go to that or we can just hit the back button right here if you had codes you could go and erase them and uh, there's a bunch of other things you can do. You can see down here, the I am readiness right here. You can go to that, but it also has that I am button there. So let's exit out just so I could show you how that works. And we'll just go ahead and hit the I am button. It connects up to the car. automatically goes in 
and it shows you what's going on right here. So basically the check marks are your completed systems. The, the X's on here are incompleted systems and the circle with the slash are ones that are not supported on your vehicle. So you can ignore all of those and just go with that. Now you'll notice that the yellow light is lit and that's because not all of these readiness monitors are complete because I had previously reset the codes on this vehicle so and it hasn't been driven at all since so that's why it's like that. Also included on the keypad is a power button and when you press that it actually reboots the tool. Uh, I'm not really certain on the function of that because that'll wipe out exactly what screen you're in so I don't know that you want to necessarily press that however what I did want to show you which goes along with what I was saying before if we go back into uh, the diagnostic mode here you can see that when it comes up it illuminates the yellow light and it says monitor is not applicable 3 ok 4 and the last one said incomplete 3 so at this point because of that yellow light and the three readiness monitors incomplete it is not ready for inspection this vehicle had no runnability codes and no check engine light but I had reset the computer through some other testing with another tool and as such it has reset all the readiness monitors which is what's supposed to happen so in the live data set we can go in there and we'll go ahead and hit the complete data set right there and also you'll notice I've turned the beep off for the buttons so you can turn that on and off and in here you see all kinds of information the fuel system the load the short-term fuel percentage long-term fuel percentage and we can go down and there are pages and pages this is sh short-term fuel for bank 2 and long-term fuel for bank 2 because this is a v6 engine you'll also notice that it says rpm which is zero so I'm going to go ahead and start the engine and you'll see that that will change as soon as I do that so now we have an RPM reading right there spark advance etc and the fuel trims as well now the engine is cold but typically as close to zero as you can get is best when the engine is cold these readings really aren't valid you need the engine warmed up but even so it's still not too bad because we're at 0.8 1.6 and that's on a cold engine so you can see how this data can be very useful to you here's the RPM if I rev the engine up you can see how that goes up like that and of course the spark advance changes and mass airflow sensor and all kinds of crazy stuff here that you can look through all kinds of data that can give you a great idea of what's going on with your vehicle so that way it can be properly diagnosed it's just pages and pages and pages and pages of data here that goes on and on you can also record data here and when you go to that you can choose let's say a custom set right there and once we go into that it asks you what you know which ones you want so I'm going to select a few here and then what's also important is it says manual trigger or DTC trigger DTC is diagnostic trouble code that's when the check engine light comes on so you can select that so what it'll do is it's going to go ahead and record this to memory and it's going to show as soon as the the check engine light comes on it's going to trigger this to start recording otherwise you can start recording manually and then of course you can read that data out later and also on the onboard monitoring screen you can see the misfire monitor data so we can hit that and go into that and it shows you how many tests have run 
the minimum and the maximum number of misfires on their STS status, which it says OK. And now that the vehicle has been running for a while and is all warmed up, you can see the short-term fuel trim for bank one and two, and you can see it adds a little and subtracts a little. It seems like it's adding 0.8 to 1.6 percent of fuel, and sometimes even goes in the negative there. And pretty much the closest to zero that these are, the more perfect the engine is running. So you're probably never going to get zero exactly, but the closer you can get, you can see that this engine is in pretty good health because it really is not fluctuating very much and it's only adding and or subtracting a little bit. Of course, if you rev the engine, then it's going to add fuel because it needs more fuel to burn. And then these numbers are going to go negative because there's excess fuel, so it's taking away fuel until it kind of burns off the residual and eventually these are going to settle back down to where they need to be. You can also go to the DTC lookup if you already know a code and go in there and like I had mentioned before P0420 so we'll run that over to that and press the green check button and that's the code that many people see but again you can hit that I am readiness monitor and in just a moment it goes right in and we'll show you what's going on just like that and from this screen you can decipher if your vehicle is ready for inspection or not so once again this was the CG Solit OBD2 scan tool for automobiles a great scan tool it's one of the bigger varieties that fits in your hand nice one-handed operation nice big color screen works great and with the IM readiness button right there a troublesome older vehicle can uh, easily be checked to see if it's ready for inspection it's all around a great scan tool from CG Solit if you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.